The movie set multiple records when it opened, including biggest opening week gross for a non-sequel, $155.4 million, biggest Tuesday release gross, $27.4 million, biggest July 4th gross, $29 million, and the biggest foreign film opening in mainland China, $3 million. The movie closed domestically on November 8, 2007, during which time it took in $319,071,806. Domestic gross accounted for $310,578,372 before the IMAX version's release. As of November 15, 2007, it has earned a worldwide gross of $702,918,603. It currently sits at spot number 19 in the most domestic gross list of movies, though this listing is not adjusted for inflation. When taking inflation into account, Transformers just ekes in at spot number 95. I didn't sleep through it the way I novocained my way through the awful Harry Potter and the Order of the Phoenix, but by the time it ended, I thought I might have vertigo or whiplash, or both, and I certainly lost more than a few of my remaining IQ points. Rex Reed It's goofy fun with a lot of stuff that blows up real good, and it has the grace not only to realize how preposterous it is, but to make that into an asset. Roger Ebert, but it's tough to really care about questions like, why did that happen? Or even, what's going on? When you're constantly interrupted by, oh my goodness. Giant robots. We. Critical reception was hit and miss, more positive than negative but not by a lot though it's sometimes hard to tell how many negative reviewers were more interested in criticizing Michael Bay in general over the movie itself. Otherwise, the most common negatives involved it being a generally think-free, spectacle, style movie. Even those who rated the movie positively noted it was a pure, popcorn, movie meant to wow its audience with CGI and explosions rather than make them think, Richard Roper noted in his, thumbs up, review, it has no nutritional value. Whether one considers that a good or bad thing for a movie and if the movie was enough fun to overcome that is, of course, highly debatable. The other main culprit, again noted by many of the positive reviews, was its long-running time, particularly the overly chaotic, often hard-to-follow final Big Bang extended ending action sequence. Roger Ebert noted that this sequence was what made him give the movie 3 out of 4 stars rather than the full 4. Transformers was nominated for three Oscars, in the fields of achievement in sound editing, achievement in sound mixing, and achievement in visual effects. The sound awards went to the Bourne Ultimatum, and the visual effects award went to the Golden Compass.